Okay, welcome everyone to the Streamzy community call for 4th April 2024. The first thing on the agenda is PRs and issues. I added two PRs to the list. Uh, Paul, I think this one has one unresolved comment from me there. Uh, this one, because I don't think you, if you don't want to link to the existing docs, then I think we should cover it completely, including making sure that the disabling of the topic being managed is accepted by the operator and so on. Okay, right. Sorry, I missed that. And then the second PR. Was this one, I guess, Tom and Federico? I don't know how it looks with that. So there was some progress since last time we looked at it, uh, but there are still a couple of things to address. One is that looks like Amazon MSK serverless does not allow to alter any configuration. So we should kind of provide a configuration that allows to, to specify which configuration you cannot alter. Uh, so in the form of an environment variable. So we are discussing that and also a missing test, but it's almost ready. So uh, let's give it some more time to address those comments. And is the author of the PR aware that that's missing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone has any other PRs or issues they want to raise? If not, the next topic on the agenda are the proposals. Paolo, I guess you edit those there. Yeah, so let me go the, through the, the first one uh, is, um, yeah, it's the proposal about deprecating uh, the Open API version two on the bridge and using only version three, uh, because yeah, version two is now stale. There are no release anymore. Everything is moving to use V3. So I already, I already got some feedback. Uh, it, yeah, I put this uh, here just to, to share with the other maintainers if uh, you have some time to take a look. And that's for this one, I guess. The next one, yeah, the next one is still uh, a proposal on uh, adding uh, a couple of um, additional configuration to the Kafka Bridge custom resource. So I asked yesterday to the contributor to kind of uh, picking one of the um, uh, of the version that he was proposing and uh, making the other as a kind of rejected alternative so that we can discuss. Uh, so yeah, it was after your comments, Jakub. And uh, yeah, so just, we should just review and have a look at this proposal as well. And then the last one, uh, Yeah, I put this here uh, just to have a feedback. We have Shubham on the call. Uh, yeah. What's the status of this one? Because I see in draft uh, since January, more or less. So, yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, in in at the start of February, we were still fighting with the the cruise control maintainers about merging a PR, which I and Kyle open because uh that one that that pr was regarding we were not getting the load after optimization like when this moving of data between the disk is complete we don't get the load after optimization because some verbose parameter is not uh set with this api so 
uh, we talked with the maintainer and he said to us that maybe you should go through all the all the all the endpoints and then uh, if if and and then maybe add this verbose not just to this endpoint and maybe to all the endpoints so it he wanted something from us to back our pr so we were still on that but then the the craft migration tests work happened and then the i was also focusing on the roller 2 auto so i was not back here but uh, i saw there was a big comment by tom bentley regarding how we should approach this with the kafka cr and not the kafka rebalance cr so uh i have went through it so probably i'll have to rewrite this based upon that because it's a very different approach compared to how i am currently implementing this feature so i should probably close this and open a new one so i'll close this and reopen a new one based upon tom b's comment which yeah the, the, this one <laughs> that this other bitcoin but yeah i got what tom was saying and it made sense so we you have to be careful we already do very similar stuff for the nodes in the kafka rebalance so i personally not sure i'm agree with this and i'm not sure we want to have yet another way how to do this here okay so <laughs> So maybe, maybe you should try to start more discussion about yes, that rather yes. than just uh, rewrite yeah. everything because a single command. Yes, exactly. So I'll jump onto this, but yeah, due to this currently this productization mess, I'm not able to get back to this. But yeah, once I start, I'll start a discussion here. Maybe yeah. So okay. Okay, thanks, Shubham. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I, I have to read the, the Tom comment as well, so I will do. Okay. Okay. Anyone has any other proposals to discuss? If not, then the issue triage is next. Uh, we have a few issues here. Uh, so I edit this one based on uh, some KubeCon talk, to be honest. Uh, I think I edited it directly from KubeCon, or at least I edited it to my to-do list to open it. But I don't know exactly how it's done for other Helm charts, but it seemed like something what might be useful and would make sense. And maybe someone who uses Helm might be interested in contributing that. Yeah, so I guess we want help wanted here. Okay, so it's triage. I want it. Okay. The next one is also open by me. And it's about uh, some time ago we rewrote the configuration for all the operators to use some new classes but we haven't done it for the Kafka init tool. So I think it would make sense to have the init writer config done in the same style as well. Yep. Maybe it's even a good start. I already have lined up someone who might look into it.
Sorry, Jacob, did you say that you already have someone uh, who's going to work yeah, on this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yet another one opened by me. Uh, this one is more for QE. Uh, so, uh, I guess Federico implemented this change in the operator, which used the new feature of Kafka 3.7 uh, that allows to change the log levels on all connect nodes with a single call. And that seems to be now reflected in the system test. But this feature is only 3.7 and the system tests using it do not seem to be gated by the Kafka version, which seems to cause failures on the when running the regressions against old versions. So I think this is something someone from the QE team should look into. Yeah, I will take a look into it. Thanks. Okay. And the last one. Is about mirror maker. Where. Uh, we say. That the connect cluster has to be always the target cluster. But there's no real validation of that and. When it's misconfigured, then it sometimes might create these weird things like this, endlessly mirroring heartbeat topic and so on. So I guess it would make sense. I'm not sure it's really a bug per se because it's misconfiguration, but I guess it would make sense to have some validation for that and uh, throw some exception instead of deploying the mirror maker in some weird dysfunctional state. Does that make sense as well? Yes. Yeah. Can we maybe even ask to the to the user raising the bug if uh, he's willing to contribute to this? If I we can, yeah, sure. And I guess, yeah, we can, this might be useful as contribution for someone else, but let's not that there are any help on the labels until we get reply from the author. And that's it for the, for the issue triage. Anyone wants to raise any other issues? If not, then just uh, know that the call for papers for KubeCon North America is now open. So if anyone wants to propose something, you can do it now. And Paul, I don't know if you have any updates about the StreamZicon agenda or anything like that. So yes, uh, the program committee reviewed and rated all the proposals. So thanks everyone for a lot of proposal that we have got um, and uh, we have the agenda. So I guess that uh, by the end of this week, beginning of the next week, we are going to send out the emails to the speakers. Uh, yeah, 
to get um, if they were approved or not. And uh, yes, we will publish also the agenda as well. I, okay. I, I think that we will send email by the end of this week and publish in the agenda at the beginning of the next week. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's it for the things in the agenda. But if anyone has any other things they want to raise, uh, discuss or anything, then please do so now. And if not, then uh, that's it for today. Thanks for joining anyone, everyone. And see you around on Slack or in two weeks on the next call. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.